on one Saturday night in the summer of 1954, more than 500 people packed into Wildwood's Hofbrau Hotel to hear Bill Haley and the Comets perform their debut hit, Rock Around the Clock. Granting Wildwood legitimate claim as the birthplace of rock and roll. By the mid-1950s, Wildwood was becoming a major Jersey Shore resort and the town's clubs were becoming a launching pad for rock and roll. Dick Clark was hosting the new hit TV show, American Bandstand, at the Starlight Ballroom. At the Surf Club, Bobby Rydell was making the town famous, singing his chart-topping Wildwood Days. Jerry Vale and Ella Fitzgerald were headlining the club. At the Bolero, young beachgoers found their thrills, dancing to Fats Domino's Blueberry Hill. Chuck Berry and Tony Bennett took the stage there. And the Ink Spots played their final show at the club. Little Richard and Jerry Lee Lewis were playing the Mardi Gras Club. Chubby Checker had teenagers twisting the night away at the Rainbow Supper Club. While Wilson Pickett was there, singing past the midnight hour. The King Curtis Combo and Ray Charles were at the Riptide. Nat King Cole and Frankie Lane at the Beach Club. Johnny Ray and Joey Bishop were playing Club Avalon. Jerry Lewis and Liberace at the Manor Supper Club. Wildwood was becoming known as the Las Vegas of the East. Chevy Bel Airs, Ford Thunderbirds, and Cadillac Coupe de Villes cruised up and down the strip past neon signs Bright, dazzling marquees flashed the names of some of the day's most popular entertainers. In 